गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स वेल सेट फॉर जी एस सी स्टडीज एज यू नो डे बिफोर यर स्टडी वी स्टार्ट इट चैप्टर वन आर एनवायरमेंट एंड आई हैव गिवन यू द होम असाइनमेंट नंबर वन फ्रेमिंग ऑफ क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम पेज नंबर वन एंड राइटिंग ऑफ वर्ड एनवायरमेंट फाइव टाइम्स possible questions you framed from page number 1 might be number 1 what do you mean by environment here i am helping to write the answer of this question question 1 can be answered likewise our surrounding including living and non living things in which we interact is called our environment now second question that can be made from page number 1 of our book how many components of environment are there name them this answer can be this question can be answered likewise there are two components that are living or biotic component non living or abiotic component now third question define living or biotic component of environment give examples here answer is first of all to answer this question you will put the heading living or biotic component and answer the component of environment that consist of living things like plants and animals is called living or biotic component now the fourth question which can be made from page number 1 is non living or a biotic component of environment for the answer of this question come here first of all you can put the heading you will put the heading non living or a biotic component the component of environment that consist of non living things like air water light soil etc is called non living or a biotic environment here this is all about the assignment i have given you you can make your own rough notebook by sitting at home and write down all these four questions in your rough notebook so that you can make the record of questions to learn there and you will write every day and learn every day now here you you are observing a flow chart which help us to recapitulate the studies we discussed earlier here now it is well known to us what is our environment and the two components of environment are there living or uh, and non living living are also known as biotic component because bio means living that's why the second name is given to this component of environment living or biotic component component which includes plants and animals and non living or abiotic abiotic means non living those which are not living uh, examples are air water light soil etc this is all about we studies day before yesterday now today we are going to discuss about what suppose i am hiding the first i am keeping the second component of environment aside what is left behind the first component so first of all second component will be taken later first of all we will discuss about this living or biotic component in detail there here i am starting living or biotic component which composed of which consist of again four parts four parts are there of this living or biotic component first one is the plants second animals third microorganism fourth scavenger now you can put forward the questions that ma'am you have told us plants and animals are the example of living or biotic component so from where this microorganism and scavengers comes so my answer is that dear student because there is the vast variety of animals present on the earth so out of these animals some are very microscopic like bacteria etc so these put in the uh, category of microorganism there and scavengers are those birds and animals which help us 
to clean up our environment by eating the dead animals so all these four parts comes in the category of living or biotic component and we are going to discuss in detail about these four component first of all i am taking what plants or producers or autotrophs i wrote there plants or producers or autotrophs will be discussed by us first of all before discussing this component in detail let's discuss a very unique phenomenon or process called photosynthesis though you are familiar to this process i i have made a diagram of a small plant here which will help to discuss about the process of photosynthesis if simply i ask the definition of photosynthesis you can say the process by which green plants prepare their own food by using carbon dioxide and water in the presence of sunlight and chlorophyll is called photosynthesis so dear student in detail we will discuss about photosynthesis in our next class today i am stopping here because there is a limit to discuss in within the 8 minutes there i am just only giving you the homework learn and write definition of photosynthesis how this process is carried by the plants we will discuss in the next class for today only what is the homework for you learn and write definition of photosynthesis so you can make the fifth question of your in your rough notebook what is photosynthesis and answer is here now have a good day